Hello, my name is Madi Tanaka. I am a PGY6 integrated IR and DR resident at the Massachusetts General Hospital here in Boston, Massachusetts. So today I'll be talking about the dual IR and DR certificate by means of the integrated IR residency, which was rolled out approximately five years ago. I'd like to thank the RSNA News for inviting me to speak on this topic, and I hope you'll find this vlog interesting and informative. Just as a brief introduction, there are currently three ways to become certified in both IR and DR. The first is the integrated IR residency. The second is the independent IR residency. And the third is a variant of the independent IR residency, which allows you to graduate in one year from the IR independent residency, as long as you meet certain conditions during your diagnostic radiology training. Although it sounds kind of complex because there are three separate pathways, Ultimately, it's all about increasing the flexibility by which someone can become an interventional radiologist and a lot more information and including details and nuances about the pathways are on both the American Board of Radiology and Society of Interventional Radiology websites. So if you're curious to learn more, I really encourage you to check those out. So my own personal experience is I was one of the first integrated IR and DR residents who matched at the MGH integrated residency back in 2017, which was one of the first years that the IRDR match happened on a large scale. Back in 2017, the integrated IR and DR residency was quite popular already, and there were a lot of medical students very interested in applying for a limited amount of positions around the country. I think the popularity has a lot to do with the inherent cool aspects of the field and the ability to really help people using cutting edge technology and using it in a minimally evasive way to avoid these big incisions. I think that appeals to a lot of medical students. I also think that there were incredible efforts from interventional radiologists across the country to recruit med students to the field by increasing awareness through medical student symposiums, mentorship, and just interest groups at the different hospitals. So all of that and together made the residency very, very popular. And as a result, it is pretty competitive. Because the integrated IR residency has been so popular, many medical students and I did the same back when I was applying, apply to both integrated IR programs as well as diagnostic radiology programs with the intent of matching into an independent IR residency or one of the variants of it. So even though IR is perceived as being competitive, having both of these options adds more flexibility and I found that really appealing back then. And I think a lot of med students still find that appealing now. When I was applying, I applied with the intent of pursuing an integrated IR residency spot. I think that both integrated IR and independent IR residencies have their strengths. To me, having you know been through the training and towards the tail end of it, I think the independent IR residency offers the most amount of flexibility in that when you decide to apply to the independent residency, you have experienced a lot of what diagnostic radiology has to offer. You've learned at a single institution and you really have made an informed decision that IR is the field for you. And you have the option to go train further in, in interventional radiology at another institution, which I really think can enhance someone's knowledge and skill set. Integrated IR residencies are also popular because all of your training is performed at a single institution. And I think there's a lot of continuity and relationships that can be formed over the years while doing that. As being an integrated IR resident, I made the decision to become an interventional radiologist as a fourth year in medical school. And so I think something that can be challenging in the integrated IR residency is that a lot can change between fourth year medical school and when you really are in the heaviest part of your interventional training. And so, people who make that decision without fully experiencing everything diagnostic radiology has to offer can take pause and wonder, you know, how, if they made the right choice. And I think that has historically happened in diagnostic radiology residents who initially said they were interested in IR, but I 
understand a large proportion switch out. That said, I feel pretty fortunate that while I found diagnostic radiology awesome and I still enjoyed doing it, I um, felt like pursuing interventional radiology and having made that choice back as a fourth year was the right choice for me and I've stuck with it. Another thing that's an interesting change is historically, IR has been a one-year fellowship and as that is going by the wayside and there's more integration or emphasis on training in the final years um, in IR, we have the opportunity to integrate our clinical knowledge from our intern year and to really work with diagnostic radiologists and even our IR attendings that we've built friendships and relationships with over the course of our entire training. So for someone like me, that's six years and having that rapport really um, makes for really enriching and great environments. And I, I really do believe it improves patient care. So I think that's one of the great things about being in an integrated residency. I also think that the structure of many integrated residencies is putting additional time into training in interventional radiology. So where it was one year of really dedicated training under the fellowship model here at Massachusetts General and many other places, there is essentially almost two dedicated years of interventional radiology training, which I think is really important because IR is such a broad field and there's so many procedures we perform and are developing that having two years has been really um, valuable to me. Having just finished my first year, and really kind of getting the fundamentals down, I'm really looking forward to honing my skills and learning as much as I can to um, really try and uh, excel in procedures so I can be the best interventional radiologist and develop and deliver the best care I can to patients. Last thing about the integrated IRDR residency that is kind of a secret benefit, I think, is I've been together with my co-residents, uh, Tommy and Richard, since we were interns six years ago, and going through general surgery internship, diagnostic radiology focused years, and now interventional radiology together, you know, that builds, that's a strong bond and strong relationships, and we have all gotten really close. They have been big supports for me, and not only are we close, but our families are pretty close. We've watched each other get married, have kids, and it's just a really good environment to be in where we are learning and growing together and so are our families. So that's a you know secret benefit to being in an integrated program where you're together over a long period of time, really build strong relationships with people who are gonna be your colleagues and can always look to you and talk to you um, when you're out there practicing. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope this was useful. I want to thank the RSA News again for inviting me to speak on this.